Rated T for Teen. This year it's all about playing as a band. Well this year we've done a lot with the guitar. This is uh, a prototype of the new guitar. We've got this new touch sensitive strip. We allow you to tap instead of strum so you can play the frets up here and tap to strum on sustains. We also have special sections in the game that are tapping sections where all you have to do is tap and slide sections where you can move your hand back and forth and kind of slide to catch the notes. We've had some big name musicians help us designing the drum kit. We worked with Stuart Copeland, we worked with Chad Smith of the Chili Peppers, Travis Barker came in. We had a couple goals in mind for the drum kit. First one was making it feel more like real drumming. We really wanted to elevate the cymbals off of the snare and the tom, so you had that more of a feeling of, of playing a hi-hat and crashing on a cymbal. The next big thing was making it quiet. We really wanted to have a nice tactile feel to the drum heads, a very, very good response time, so we could do flams and rolls and detect that in-game. The drum kit's wireless, just like the guitars, totally wireless. And beyond the wireless, we can actually detect the velocity and how hard you hit the drum head. And we translate that in-game. We have four-player band play this year. You can also play against another band online. So you can do actually four verse four, band verse band online. And you could have any combination of those band members could be either at your house or online. We've got a whole music studio. So you can create your own music and then share it with others online to download and play back as a band or a single player. It's basically a five track recorder. So I can go in and lay down the bass line. I can lay down the drums. I can lay down lead guitar, the rhythm, the bass, even the melody. The music studio allows you to either play with four players. Somebody can jump on the drums. Somebody can jump on the guitar, the bass. We even have the way to turn the guitar into a keyboard so you can play melody. I can also record all of that. I can take that back into a GH Mix, which is like our more advanced editing suite, and actually edit each track individually, essentially remixing the track. Guitar Hero World Tour, I think it will definitely get people interested in making music. If they even have the slightest inkling to do so. We have a whole user community out there called GH Tunes, and that is using the music studio to create your own music, putting that up for everyone to be able to experience. We've been making character creators for years now with the Tony Hawk games, but we've completely revamped that for Guitar Hero World Tour. You can create your own guitar, you can create your own drum set, and it gets really, really in-depth. Guitar Hero World Tour is, has a big focus on social gaming, bringing people together, making people feel like they're playing together even a deeper way than, than in previous Guitar Hero games. I really believe that this is going to provide a great social gaming experience for families, friends, parties. World Tour is where it's at.